Hello students and welcome to our engine failure after liftoff execution video. Before we jump into the cockpit, let's quickly discuss the objective of this maneuver and some key factors that we'll be focusing on. The objective of this maneuver is to develop the skills necessary to maintain positive control of the airplane and either return to land on the takeoff runway or continue the takeoff with an inoperative engine depending on certain flight circumstances. In this maneuver execution video, we will not be covering detailed aerodynamics, maneuver diagrams, common student errors, or the ACS standards. This video is to simply explain and demonstrate the execution of the maneuver and will vary based on the aircraft you're flying. To see all the additional details we just mentioned and to study these lessons full like presentation, podcast, diagrams, flashcard, lesson quiz, and a whole bunch more, look up the engine failure after liftoff lesson on our website at wifi.cfi.com. Lastly, before we jump into the cockpit, there are a couple key factors that we need to cover regarding this maneuver. Today, we will be covering two different scenarios. The first scenario is an engine failure after liftoff with the gear still extended and available runway for returning to land. We still have runway ahead of us. We still have our landing gear extended. That's going to be the first scenario. The second scenario is that we're going to lose our engine after liftoff with our landing gear retracted so we've gone ahead and retracted our landing gear now because we did not have available runway to return to land we retracted our landing gear then we experienced the engine failure at this point we have made the decision to continue the takeoff for scenario a if our landing gear is still extended and we have available runway or overrun at the time of the engine failure then we will first maintain positive control of the airplane We'll make sure we have our airspeed under control and our heading or our directional control with our rudders and our ailerons and we'll make sure that we get to that VYSE speed and we don't get below it. All right. We'll then go ahead and smoothly reduce our operating throttle back to idle and we'll return the airplane back down safely for landing because we do still have our landing gear down. For scenario B, if our landing gear has been retracted because we are out of the available runway and we have decided to continue the flight, we will accomplish the following in order. Now, most of this is going to be memorized. Actually, all of this is going to be memorized. The only thing that's not memorized with this next part here is the very end where we run the checklist. However, memorized, maintain direction control, pitch attitude and airspeed. Our VYSE speed for this airplane is 89 knots, so that's what we're going to be pitching for. Advance the mixtures, props, and throttles. Full forward, most likely this does depend on where you're flying, your aircraft, the altitude, everything like that. But in this scenario, we're going to be advancing our mixture props throttles full forward. We'll retract or verify that the flaps in the landing gear have been retracted to reduce our drag. We'll then use our dead foot to identify the dead engine. So the one not pressing the rudder pedal is the dead engine and we'll verify by closing the throttle. We'll then ask ourselves, do we want to try to fix this engine or feather it? At this low altitude, since we just took off, we will simply feather the dead engine and then begin our return to landing, at which point we'll end this maneuver video and continue on the next video with our engine failure landing video. All right, so we're not gonna do the landing in this video. We're just gonna get the airplane turned around to kind of start heading back for the landing. And then that will be covered in our next execution video. So that is it for this little preamble. Let's head out there and execute these engine failures. All right, welcome out to our airplane where we will first start by doing or executing the engine failure for scenario A, where we're gonna go ahead and do our takeoff roll. After takeoff, we'll go ahead and lose our engine with our landing gear still down and available runway. So we'll bring our throttle back and come back down for the landing. Just kind of want to show you how we've got the airplane and everything set up so we're ready. We've got our departure heading bug, as you can see right here. Got our initial altitude bug. We've got our parking brake off. Uh, let's go ahead and check our trim. Get our trim up to the takeoff position. Okay, everything looks pretty good. We will be accelerating down the runway. We'll rotate at 80, begin a climb at 89 and then that will be the point where we lose our engine and bring it back down for landing. Remember, most important thing is to maintain that positive control of the airplane with our heading and our speed. Just bring it back down nice and gentle for the landing. Go ahead and bring our throttle up. Start accelerating down the runway. 
airspeed is alive looking for that rotate speed of 80 okay there's our rotate speed so we'll go ahead and rotate back begin our climb out nice and easy and then we'll say that we experienced that engine failure there you go that right left sorry that left engine is dead so then we'll just get maintain positive control we'll bring this throttle back nice and gentle creep our way back over to the runway not worrying about flaps or anything honestly just worrying about getting this back down safely for a nice smooth touchdown onto our runway where we can then go ahead stay on center line and apply our brakes and it looks like this runway here was just long enough for us excellent so you see we took off we focused on maintaining positive directional control of the airplane I let the engine the dead engine yaw go a little bit to exaggerate it in the video because on the simulator it, you don't quite feel it as much so I wanted to exaggerate that I let that go a little bit that's why you saw kind of our heading go off brought it back by adding that rudder maintaining our heading not getting below our VYSC speed remember not freaking out staying calm not getting too slow keeping that speed slowly bringing my throttle back down idle and coming back for the touchdown on center line where we applied our brakes and came to a safe stop so that's it for this scenario we'll go ahead and hop into scenario B now all right welcome back to scenario B where now we're going to be experiencing the engine failure after we have retracted our landing gear because we have no more available runway once we've retracted that landing gear we've essentially made the decision that we are going to continue takeoff so we talked about the memorization items everything like that we've got the airplane reset up again we'll show you we've got the heading bug set got our initial altitude set everything's ready to go one thing that we do want to say is that using this flight simulator the rudder pedals are extremely extremely sensitive plus we've got to be using our hands to do the rudder pedals and our hands to feather and secure the engine so do a little bit better with the rudders than we're going to right because you'll be able to use your feet and also you won't have to be using a mouse pointer to shut different things down all right so don't judge us too harshly on control of the rudders you'll get a feel for it as you continue to practice and practice this maneuver we will do the best that we can with the rudders while we're trying to look around the cockpit and do other things with our mouse and everything like that okay just want to start with that disclaimer otherwise let's go ahead and continue we're going to bring our throttles up full begin our acceleration down the runway we've got our airspeed is alive we'll rotate at that 80 climb about 90 Rotation speed, go ahead and rotate back. Start for our trim, for our climb out, just doing a nice, easy, normal climb out here. Now, once we feel that we can make the decision, hey, even if I experience an engine failure here, I will not be coming back down to the runway, then we'll go ahead and retract our landing gear. We've got the landing gear retracted. Now, let's experience our engine failure. So there goes our right engine, so we're going to maintain directional control, pitch, attitude, and airspeed. So I'm getting on the rudder pedals, keeping my heading going, and I'm going to start getting that VYSC speed at that 89. Mixtures, props, and throttles full forward. We'd go ahead and press all those things full forward. We got our flaps up and our gear up. Let's go ahead and check. Yep, flaps are retracted, and gear is also retracted. We'll then go ahead and verify the dead engine with our dead foot. Our dead foot is our left foot. So we'd verify that with our left throttle by bringing that back to idle, we'll bring that left engine to idle. We can see that we are still flying, so we have identified the correct engine. Next is the tricky part, especially on the simulator. We need to go ahead and either fix or feather this engine, right? Since we're at such a low altitude and we're just gonna plan to come back and land, we're gonna go ahead and feather it. Now I'm going to do the very best I can with the rudder pedals here as I get everything set up. Make sure I got my fuel pumps off. I'm going to go ahead and turn off that left engine master there. Trimming real gently. 
everything and then I'm gonna go ahead and get this oops sorry I'm gonna go ahead and get this left fuel valve shut off as well if I can here so we'll go ahead and click that down flip our control over get that back come back to our heading as you can see it's very difficult with the flight simulator because you can't look but we'll go ahead and get that back at this point we're looking at maintaining positive control of the airplane okay we fixed we feathered the engine you can see that the propeller is actually still spinning out here that is just because of the external airflow because we're flying through the air and the simulator keeps that animation going showing that that propeller is still spinning but in real life we have done the feathering checklist so we would go ahead and circle back around and start to head back towards the airport it looks like we're holding our altitude good go ahead and declare our emergency you know Provo Tower uh, Diamond Wi-Fi CFI we've experienced an engine failure we're coming back for landing and this is the part where we'll continue off in our next video to show you how to continue on head back for the landing with this one single engine here so that's it for this video guys thanks for joining us again make sure you come back for the next one for our engine failure landing and we'll see you on that one coming up soon